comedy films have got to be some of the hardest sells out there because if anything many people have many different tastes and many different senses of humor uh, and so today this is one of those films that definitely will test the limits of taste as well as your sense of humor with the brothers grimsby brought to us by lou uh Lettier and uh, written uh, co-written by sasha baron cohen who also stars in this is nobby this guy who that just down and out you know this guy he's he's not the most sophisticated guy by any means but he's a good family man and he makes the most of it and he misses his brother who is Sebastian, who uh, went missing a long time ago. Well, it turns out Sebastian is a secret service uh, agent, and the two end up crossing paths at an event where the agent is supposed to thwart an assassination, and soon Nobby and Sebastian are forced to team up together to the reluctance of Sebastian to help try to stop the bad guys from uh, committing a very serious uh, attack at a soccer game, and we see how those f events play out as some would say comedically in the brothers grimsby i've been never been a f huge fan of sasha baron cohen i'm going to start out with that right now but i do see the appeal for some people for his humor as well as his films but even for him this film really seems like it went past beyond the limits shattered the limits and they just said Fuck it, we're just going to do whatever comes to mind as far as comedy goes. And there were some humorous moments. I guess the biggest problem I had with the Brothers Grimsby wasn't the characters uh, at all. I, I kind of enjoyed all the wild characters and the Nobby character and the chemistry between uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's Nobby and uh, Mark Strong Sebastian. Loved the chemistry between them. I guess for me, I'm looking at this going, you know, if you scaled back the the grotesque and the just over-the-top humor just a bit, you'd really have a really great yet touching spy story here. And that was the problem I had was, I'm watching it, I'm getting into it, there's some great action sequences, this director gave us Transporter 1 and 2, and Now You See Me, which is a guilty pleasure of mine. And so in here, the action sequences that were great. I loved how that was handled, but you get all this really great action and all of a sudden the Nobby character would show up, and I think things would just take, you know, go downhill from there. Uh, there are people that I know out there that really love Sasha Baron Cohen, and if you do, you're going to get a kick out of this movie and probably hurt yourself laughing as hard as you did. I chuckled a few times, but for me, a lot of times I was just kind of rolling my eyes going... Uh, here we go. And, you know, that's all I can really say about it. Uh, a Spy, which was also kind of that poke fun at the spy genre and had over-the-top humor, wasn't quite to the Sasha Baron Cohen level, and I enjoyed that one a bit more. So, for the Brothers Grimsby, if you've enjoyed all of his other humor, the Ali G stuff, you're going to love the Brothers Grimsby. I summed it up best to my buddy Derek Carey, who runs the Astro Radio Z podcast, who loves all of his humor. I summed it up like this, and this is a bit of a spoiler, but it's the best way to sum up this movie. If you like the idea, if you find the idea of two guys trapped in the uterus of a female elephant jerking off bull male elephants who are having sex with said female element elephant, if you find that funny, you're going to have a blast with the Brothers Grimsby. I, on the other hand, did not but I can definitely see those out there who do enjoy his humor will enjoy this film. Those who do not, you'll want to avoid this because at the end of the day, you're going to feel like you wasted your money and you, uh, yeah. That's about all I have to say about that. So uh, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your constructive thoughts about this film. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Got some other great reviews coming. Got some great other projects coming up for you this year. I appreciate the support. And until next time, keep that ticket stub.